Hey guys, Elliot here from RMA. Now over the past couple of years, a lot of new buyers have entered the body armor market. And unfortunately, not everybody knows the difference between NIJ certified, NIJ tested, and NIJ compliant. So we're gonna dive into that right now. First, let's define our terms. NIJ compliant is the actual term that's technically correct to describe a product that's been quote NIJ certified. But industry started finding out that consumers didn't really understand what NIJ compliant meant. And so we started using the term NIJ certified to describe a product that was tested, evaluated, and performed to a certain standard and had the NIJ stamp of approval and was added to the compliant products list. That was a much more meaningful term to use so that people could understand that a product they were getting had been tested and evaluated versus a product that hadn't. Now these are almost identical plates. And this one you'll see has an NIJ certified check mark and this one does not. Now the reason for that is the NIJ won't recertify the same plate over and over and over again if you put a different cut shape on it, or you make this one multi-curve and this one single curve. So for any one product, you're only getting one certification at a time, which is why you'll see these certified and uncertified models with the same model number on them. NIJ certifications go from level 2A, level 2, level 3A, level 3, and level 4. That's it. There's no level 3 plus, there's no level 4 plus, there's no level 5, there's no 3A+, plus. those are all made up manufacturer's denotations. And the reason for that is that it's relatively simple to build a plate that outperforms what the standard is. Another one that you'll commonly see is what's called NIJ tested. Now that could mean a variety of things depending on who the manufacturer is, if you can actually find that information out. So in our maze case, we'll use the term NIJ tested to describe a plate that we've sent out to a laboratory to be tested up against NIJ standards, but didn't undergo actual NIJ certification for one reason or another. In the case of something like the 1155 example we viewed earlier, those plates are getting NIJ tested, but they're not getting NIJ certified because we can't recertify the same model number. Now you can always double check the status of any body armor product and its NIJ certification. Just go to Google, type in NIJ compliant products, and the very first result you come up with is the National Institute of Justice website where you can find all of the registered compliant products. And simply put, if you can't find it on that list, it's not certified. Now you will find some unscrupulous manufacturers claiming certification on older products by older certification standards. Now, the NIJ doesn't explicitly pull those certifications from those manufacturers once they update the specifications. That's kind of on you to know. So if you see someone selling a plate that says 010104, 010105, or something like this, what you're buying is a product that can't pass the newer inspections. Now the reason for that could be the way that they built the plate, it could be that they don't want to spend the money to get it recertified, it could be a number of things, but the point is that it's just not up to snuff with modern standards. In some cases, some more unscrupulous manufacturers out there will use the term NIJ tested to mean a variety of different things. NIJ tested could mean that they sent it off to a laboratory and they wanted it to be certified and it didn't pass certification, but it was NIJ tested. It could also mean that they underwent a very rigorous process the same way that we do and uh, tested it against different rounds than the NIJ does and they feel that it exceeds that performance level. It could also mean that they tested it against presumably NIJ rounds, but they didn't do drop testing, water testing, heat testing, those sorts of things. Unfortunately, there's not really a good way to know what NIJ tested means unless you understand the context in which the manufacturer is using it. And a lot of that depends on the reputation of the manufacturer. So go on YouTube, see the performance of their plates. See if that's what you wanna bet your life on because at the end of the day, you're betting your life on these products. Make sure you're getting the right thing. 